everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new here please subscribe and tap that bell for more videos hey guys so today I just wanted to come here um, quickly and show you give you like a little update um, I don't know if you saw it or not but I did a video um, where Renee Cormala soaps had sent me and my kids um, a kit so we can make our own melt and pour soap at home um, and she sent me um, a cupcake mold for soap, a cupcake soap mold, um, cupcake scent, um, blue, yellow, and pink coloring to color the, the soaps with. Um, and she sent me, I think that's it, just like other supplies to make the soaps. Um, I had everything, she sent basically everything I needed, but the only thing that um, I needed that I didn't have was some um, like rubbing alcohol. Um, I haven't been able to find like any kind of cleaning supplies um, anywhere. Um, so I didn't have any rubbing alcohol and what you do with that is you can um, mix it in with the color to make the color mix in with the soap better. And then also you can like spritz alcohol on the soap afterwards to keep it from bubbling up, but it's not like necessary. So I went ahead and I, I did it without the rubbing alcohol. Um, I did have rubbing alcohol wipes, but I couldn't, I tried to squeeze it out, um, and it, nothing would come out of the wipes. Um, but I did, I like cleaned the, the soap mold and stuff with the alcohol before, but. So I just want to show you what we made. So we had, um, molds to make like four cupcakes, but they're in separate pieces. So I have this little blue top and the yellow bottom. Um, and it did bubble up because I didn't have the alcohol. You can see little bubbles, but otherwise I think it looks fine. I mean, it's not perfect. I did it with the kids. Um, and I don't, I didn't put enough scent in them, but here's a little, one little cupcake. And then, um, let's see. And then I have two pink ones and the bottom's a little bit purpley because the way we mix the colors. So there's the little pink top, the cupcake top, and the little bottom. Oh yeah, the top's a little bit bubbly, but that's okay. It's not, it doesn't hurt anything. It's just like um, for looks. So there's that one. I made two of the pink ones. And then this one, we kind of ran out, we didn't have quite enough yellow and quite enough blue to fill up um, a second one. So we mixed the blue and yellow together in this one. So it's like, almost looks like tie dye or something. This one looks cool. So there's the little top and the bottom. The top kind of looks like earth, the top of it. So there's that one. And then I actually had a little bit more soap than that. Um, and I have um, a snowflake soap mold of my own. So I filled up a snowflake and I made it purple. I mixed the pink and the blue together. So there's that. But really, I, I thought that I put enough scent, but I, I, I can't remember. The kids were, I was trying to keep the kids from knocking over hot soap and <laughs> not dumping the color all over the floor, but I just want to show you guys the soaps really quick. Um, this is just a melt and pour. Like you basically just, um, you have the, the glycerin soap. She gave me like, um, big like blocks of it and you cut it into smaller pieces and you melt it. Um, and then you mix the color and the scent in, and then you would like pour it into the mold and then it would, um, need to cool down and harden for a few hours. So that's what we did. But now we have all these soaps. So we have plenty of soap now. And thank you so much, Renee, for sending this us. It was really cute. Um, I actually haven't showed them the finished products yet because I wanted to make this video before they got into it and <laughs> mess them up. But thanks, you guys, so much for watching. Thank you so much, Renee, for sending this to me. It was so sweet of you to do. Thank you so much. Um, and take care, everyone. Please check out all my links below, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.